What's up, YouTube? This is Collect Pokemon, and today we are finally back for another video. And I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but you know, I've been really, really busy, and I was really tired with all those live streaming and stuff. So I actually have not had the time to make up these videos. So if you guys want to hear the most updated news, to know what to buy, what is up with the market, you know, do hit the like, do hit the subscribe, because I will post messages on Facebook. I would lead posts on Facebook. You know, it's just because it's a much easier thing to update than to record a whole video and then edit it and stuff. So today's video is going to be talking about the Sama Center and Sassian Ultra Premium Collection. Um, this is the US version, so we're going to call it ZZUPC. Um, the European or the International Edition is going to be consists of two EME trainer box. And yeah, basically those, I've heard news that it was be delayed, but you know, some people said they've been getting it. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all a mess. It's very, very confusing for a lot of people. So what does this mean? Well, it means that, you know, when things are confusing, what it means is that when there are mixed signal, mixed message, things are confusing, people can easily miss out on this card. I've said in an earlier video that I do not believe that this set is going to be a good investment because simply the Sassian and the Sama Center of these, these two Pokemons are just not super popular. And, you know, depending on you know what they have, um, it, it's not very appealing to me. Uh, I did get some message by other people saying that, you know, hey, collect Pokemon, you're wrong. You know, I think it's going to be a definitely a good investment piece. Now, here is what I'm going to tell you right now. So um, I guess I would say I, w I was wrong. I was wrong into believing that this set will be printed in a quantity that can supply the market. However, this was exactly the opposite, completely the opposite. The demand of this product remains high, but the supply was lower. Uh, you know, there were no news about this set going to be on allocation. You know, people just kind of order and the hype wasn't there pretty much. I mean, there was there was some hype when, you know, they said that it was a black gold card. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the hype was not as high as Vivid Voltage or Champion's Path or even the Hidden Face reprint. So, yeah, a lot of places to set, you know, yeah, you can you can order, but it's not heavily allocated. However, the allocation number did come out over the last weekend, actually, uh, or the past week. And this is what we've heard. Most stores are getting 5 to 20% of their orders. I've heard shop, shops, smaller shops, that have been ordering, you know, 20 boxes or 15 boxes, 16 boxes. It come in a case of four. Uh, that they've been only given one box. Not one case, one box. So this item currently is heavily heavily allocated just in case you don't know what heavily allocated mean it means that you know they're not going to give you the number that uh, you're given okay so, so you, they're not going to give you the number you want sorry so uh basically what we're going to see is we're going to see a lot of cancellation of orders a lot of refunds going on here and there <sighs> so what does this mean this means that you know there is going to be a lot of flipper and scalper within the market that is trying to flip this box and i think this box will make a very very good christmas present because of the size and you know the premium how cool it looks you know kids are gonna love it and parents are gonna buy it for their kids because first pokemon is hot every kid like pokemon and you know second it's it's a nice looking it's cool it's black gold you know kids will feel cool about it especially the dice and the counter they seem to be metallic so you know that that adds on to a, a, a bit of a wow factor to it so yeah so that's uh what is what is gonna be happening but if uh in terms of the cards do i think that the cards are going to go high in psa 10 yes it will simply because of the demand but um but if we look back at the gold card from Legendary Treasures, the Sacrum and the Reshram, uh, the PSA 10 was only selling for, you know, $100 to $150 for like the longest time. But it's only in the recent week that, you know, we see it shot up to around $800 to $900 US dollar per card. So um, what I'm expecting or what I would be seeing is that the Summer Santa and Sassian will, the PSA 10 will be, will be quite expensive. So, uh, yeah, I would suggest that, you know, you guys go on eBay while it's still cheap, you know, keep one box for yourself. And I mean, this box is great for collection. Don't get me wrong, but I still do not believe it to be a good investment in the in, in the mid 
medium short to medium run that's what i think so um yeah that's a that's a quick update um a lot of people always ask the question should i open it or should i keep it sealed so uh, after i actually made a post on youtube um a lot of people ask me the question you know collect pokemon should i keep it open or sealed and my question my answer to that is wait and see after you get the box there will be a lot of youtubers trying to unbox these stuff when they unbox it, take a look at those cards, whether those cards quality are good in centering, whether they have, you know, whitening, where they, yeah, yeah. How, how good of the quality, is it worth the risk to open it? Because chances are, you want to open it for one thing, you want to open it to grade the cards. And I mean, the, the dice and everything else looks really nice, but it would look better if it is sealed. Uh, and, and I think that, you know, that would give that more premium look premium price to that set so whether to open or seal i would say that you know wait a week or so once we see a lot of these hit the market and youtubers start opening it um, then judge whether it is good to open or sell whether you should take that risk to open or keep it sealed should we grade it definitely i mean if it is special promo cards do grade that card um, because i feel like you know over time you know graded card is going to be uh, worth significantly more um than things i mean you can ship it off the the bulk bulk grading i mean it's going to take like eight months but you know do send it off when you get it back the price may may have gone up already but if you are hoping to send it off like a you know uh what do you call it? express you know these sort of stuff i would uh i would i would i would say depends on whether that card is gonna guarantee you a psa 10 so that's that um a lot of people also ask you know this they, they asked whether this card will be in S4A, which is the Ultra Shiny V. Currently, we have no idea, but I suspect that it will be. It's likely to be. There will be some sort of special gold card in that set. Um, and if there are these cards in the Japanese version, I think that unless that Japanese version goes up significantly in price, um, I think the English version will be on par with the... Uh, with the rest of the sets so uh that is you know what i'm thinking so um yeah so s4a by the way we're doing uh individual breaks for s4a and it's being sold on my website so uh, the link is in the description below you guys can check it out and if you're from a certain region like canada no, not canada usa uh, uk and some european countries i think you will get free shipping um but you can upgrade it to a fedex shipping as well so you guys can go check them out so that's pretty much that. I really want to give this update on the Sama Santa and Sassian box because a lot of people are asking, hey, is it good to open? You know, what's going to happen with this? So um, if you're a collector, I would suggest buy a box or two. I mean, you can get it on eBay for around $120, $130 right now because the MSRP was originally $99.99. So, uh, I mean, the markup is not that serious. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. But I would, I personally would not hold on to cases and cases of it uh, in the long run because I just feel like this is more of a collectible item than a, an investable item. And if a lot of people are wondering what's the difference, collectible items are demanded by the collectors. Investable items sometimes do relate to collector's item, but it also looks at so when i invest i always see potential whether other investors think it's a good investment because remember when you're selling a card when you're investing in a card you have to think about whether another investor is likely going to buy your cards not another collector because you know once collector collects them they only want one copy and that's all so uh there's no point collecting multiple copies of it um, but if there is an investor, for example, why are people buying, um, let me check, uh, why are people buying Mario Pikachu at around $6,000 now, PSA 10, that whole set? It's because they believe that it can go higher in the future, so they would buy it at the price now. Why would they buy a Scream Munch Eevee at $500 US dollar right now? It's because in the future, they believe it would go higher. So, uh, don't, I mean, there will be some collector in there, but I'm... I am 100% certain that a lot of them are other investors hoping to make a buck in the future. So that's pretty much about this video. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Go um, check out the website. Le let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the Sassian and Summer Center box. If you're a collector, would you buy it? 
or do you really think or are you going to hold on to boxes and boxes of it for investment let me know and yeah i'll see you in the next one peace out